Being a peak performer is all about achieving a balance between training and recovery. So Paul organised a little treat for the participants. After a full-on stress and resilience day, our participants are pretty battered and bruised and worn out. So we brought them to Kiora Spa to give them a good pampering and let their bodies recover effectively. And while Paul settles in for some recovery of his own, Dr Roy Sugarman gives us his top tips on recovery for the brain. After a hard day's work, the default strategy for most people is hit the couch, watch the TV and drink a bottle of red wine. That's not recovery. That's kind of de-stressing in the wrong way. The best part of recovery for the brain is exactly what you do for the body. Hydration, nutrition and lots of movement. And after all of that, more than seven hours, ten of sleep. That's recovery for the brain. Meanwhile, the participants have really taken to this concept of recovery. I think this is just reward for scaling off a 45 metre building. I was given a massage voucher on my 40th birthday and I didn't use it until my 42nd. <laughs> and that, I just thought, is such a sign. And it's something I'd love to do at least once a month. I think it would make a big difference. Never have thought that I'd be uh, doing this and actually so far I've enjoyed it. It's, uh, it's very nice. Oh, I hope to look my real age, about 21 when I leave here. I think I do Botox as well, I think. 